How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit of a vlog today. I don't know if I can... We had the inspector come and inspect our house on Sunday. It's been a whirlwind of the last few days, but yeah, we've got, I, I haven't made a video in a minute and I'm feeling like really weird about it. Our house is under contract, technically. Um, so we're gonna be moving and there's a lot of stuff to do. I'm sorry the videos haven't really been, you know, regular. Um, there's just been a lot going on. So we're gonna be working on the golf today. I've got a little thing to do and just I've got so many little things to do to the car, but we're gonna work on the golf today. So, get ready for a vlog. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll at least turn on the Miata for you and start it and everything. So let's do that. Keys. All right, so for those who are new, these are eighteen by eight and a half Koenig lockout wheels with the BF Goodrich Comp twos. Um, front and rear, they're the same size, but the rear fitment on the GTI is pretty weak. Like from the factory, it's pretty weak. With a wider wheel and better offset, it's closer, but you can still see it's kind of got a little bit of hovercraft going on. The front's not too bad. Could be better, um, but this is more of a test for the rear. So, obviously, not great on my previous wheels these ones i had the flush kit that was a uh, rear 20 millimeter and front was uh 15. i think 15 is going to be a little bit too big for the rear i think if we do it there it's definitely sticking out over the fender and that's you know rough measurement but if you you know want to do a quick test just kind of put your spacer on it and i mean it'd be really it'd be close there's no way there's no way that that would work on a daily driver um, i'd be rubbing all over the place but i picked up a set of spacers these were recommended from a uh, forum post these are five millimeter spacers and they should fit just fine so going from a 20 mil rear spacer to a five mil spacer, but our wheel size is, I think the stock wheel is 7.5. So we've gone up an inch. Can't remember what the offset is. So if you're curious about specific sizes or just go watch the video on the wheels, it's up in the corner here. So with these, I think that is gonna make us fit very, very nicely. Um, this is just, like I said, five mil spacer and it looks like the tire will clear pretty much all around. Um, I'm still on just springs, lowering springs on the stock struts. Need to get coilovers, that is on my list. You can definitely tell that the struts have started to wear down a lot more um, and I, I need to get coilovers. So that will be coming in the future. But for now, we're gonna work on our fitment with these spacers and we're gonna throw them on there and uh should be good so let's take the wheels off and do that but yeah as i mentioned we are moving and genuinely couldn't be more excited to move out from this house i'm just you know it's just a lot you know it's like this neighborhood kind of sucks i'm ready to move and i want a bigger garage 
taking you guys along for the way, obviously. Um, there's been there's been a ton going on at my house and in my life. Nothing bad, just a lot. And I feel like I've been slacking on the videos. I definitely have been slacking on the videos. And I know this is just like a little vlog style kind of thing, but um, I, I needed to get out here. I needed to get out and I needed to make a video and I needed to do something productive. I have quit smoking as of this morning. I just, I realized how much money it costs and I would rather spend that on cars. I was like, which one do I care about more? Obviously I care about cars more. So I'm gonna save my money and do more car stuff. So that's fun. Hoping after we do this, I'll be in a little bit better mood. Already feeling better, even though it's hot and humid. It's so humid out here. I'm gonna quit complaining. Uh, I need an extension. This is hub centric, which you will want for sure. Looks about right. Also, I do have extended uh, lug bolts, so we will be covered there. All right, that is definitely better. There we go. It's definitely a little bit more flush. I say flush, but I wouldn't say it's really flush, but it's definitely better. So there's after and here is before. So small difference, but the small differences make everything look a little bit better. So it's a little bit more even with the front it looks more uh, symmetrical. So I'm going to do the other side and then I'll show you once that's done. All right, here's the other one done. The camera is showing that it's overheating, which is fun. That's how you know it's uh, summer is coming in Texas. We don't get spring. We get two days of uh, nice weather, some rain, and then summer, summer comes. I absolutely hate it here. Um, anyways, second one is done. Uh, it's a little sitting weird because the car's not settled, but it looks good. I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, there we go. Link below for these. If you have the same size wheel, these are just off Amazon. They were pretty cheap. So uh, go buy them from the affiliate link and you'll help the channel out. Thank you in advance. All right, well, I'm hot and dying now, so uh, hopefully there's a video next weekend. There will be. I've got something coming for the Miata that's pretty cool. The Miata is going through um, a little bit of a transition period. I'm trying to think of what to do next. I'm starting to go back on a few things. Um, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here, so. Thanks for watching guys. I know this was a little vlog. I know you guys don't like the vlogs, but I needed to make a video and I know a lot of you don't even like the GTI. So there's probably a lot of Miata guys and aren't watching and that's cool too. So I'm not trying to fire shots or anything, but um, if you're a fan of the channel, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, bear with me as we go through this transition period of moving out of this garage into a new garage. It's gonna be exciting. I'm excited, but trying not to get too ahead of myself and I'm trying to not have this flag go in my face so anyways thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for miata videos stay tuned for gti videos because i do both hit the subscribe button below give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already leave your comments below see you in the next one